What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What is up guys, welcome to part two with this Narset Typhoon list submitted to us by Turn One Soul Ring. Fantastic uh, suggestion. Really, really enjoying it. Uh, I initially, like, I, I played this before the first video, which, by the way, if you haven't seen the first, please do. In this deck in particular, this was a user-submitted deck, uh, so it has cards that you may not expect, or, I mean, hey, maybe you do. I don't know, but uh, no, I don't think we can keep that. None of the cards are playable. Um, this we will, though it's not super safe, but we'll try it. Um Anyway, this is a user submitted deck, so please do check out the first video. We kind of talked through the list a little bit, but um, it's a fun one. I initially kind of thought, eh, it seems a little clunky, and playing the first few games, I felt it was very clunky. Um, however, uh, I have since been proven wrong. Um, so I can't say I'm mad about that, to be honest. Uh, let's just do that. Uh, this just gives us an out opportunity to bounce next turn, uh, which I think is good. Growth Spiral, great card, would probably consider playing it there, but I, it doesn't really uh, guarantee us what we need. Um, and now I'm definitely going to bounce. Holy crap. Interesting, they're running a Sentinel's Eye. I guess that makes a lot of sense in this deck, to be honest. Pretty cool. Another land, very, very good. Let's go ahead and do this. Probably should have waited to play that land just on the off chance we found a better opportunity or better option like that one. But that's okay. That is okay. Um, I do really like this list though. It's got a lot of built-in resilience. We do. We are kind of hurting for our right colors here. We need a red source uh, so we can get Narset out. Hopefully, start dealing with some of these creatures in particular, which would be really nice. Um, but we'll we'll see what we can get. Um, we might be able to... Well, we'll see. We will see. We can always Shark Typhoon, like cycle Shark Typhoon, just to have ourselves a little blocker. Uh, so that's always a, an opportunity. Very cool. Very cool that you get that haste with that card. I like that. Um, mm hmm. Let's grow Spiral. Play the Triome. Um... We'll play the Temple Garden here. Uh, so next turn, we can just kind of play out Shark Typhoon <laughs> uh, if we want. We're going to be taking some hits, though. we got to be pretty careful about this deck. Um, this is a tough one. The Cycling deck is one that I am not very fond of, but that can really, really do some damage. So we just have to be very, very cognizant of that. Um, and the addition of Sentinel's Eyes, very cool. Giving stuff vigilance. I don't know that it's worth it in this deck, but like it does always kind of give you a play. Um, and to give, you know, a 5-5 five, five Flourishing Fox vigilance is pretty good. Um, I'm kind of into it. I am kind of into it. Yep. Uh, the one thing that this doesn't do is synergize well with the Zenith Flare or whatever it is. Because um, you do exile the cards from your, from your graveyard for it. But... Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah. Good, good. Another crow spiral. Uh, let's do this. We're just gonna play this out here. May not be 100% correct, but we're in this for fun. Uh, and fun means uh, playing out Shark Typhoon whenever you get the chance. Uh, I literally, like, threw a game the first time I did that. I was like, I'm just gonna, and I may have just now, um, but I was just like, I'm just gonna play Shark Typhoon out. It seemed fine. <laughs> Turns out that lost me the game, um, but that's okay. It is a fun, fun card. Um, questioning what we'll do next turn, uh, because we really need a way to deal with this fox is the takeaway or is the problem. Um, would have been great if we could have gotten a red source played out the Narset. I would have probably discarded the Shark Typhoon to it. Uh, just to make sure that we can kill this thing. Um, because obviously now it's a 10 10. We don't have anything in our deck that's going to be able to just straight kill it. We can just bounce it, which would be sweet, but they can give it trample uh, as well, by the way. Um, yeah. 
and that's gonna be game. Um, all right. Well, unfortunately, we were just kind of rough on the uh, lands there. We didn't have the right color. Um, had we had red, we could have dealt with that fox a little bit sooner. Um, but that's okay. We will jump into game two. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't want to jinx anything, by the way, but our frame rate for, uh, with recording today has been, like, not an issue. That's very unusual. Um, not an amazing hand, but I'm going to keep it. Uh, we just don't have any rampers, but we've got quite a lot to do, and all we need is one more land to do it. So I'm going to try it. <coughs> Narsa can maybe discard one of these Calyxes uh, just so we can kind of deal with what the opponent might be doing. Uh, we'll enter that tapped. And if we need to, we can always cycle this Shark Typhoon. Um, I always hate doing that, but like if you need to, you need to. You can't, you know, uh, can't just kind of hold on to it forever. Uh, Paradise Druid is quite helpful, actually. Um, let's play that out. Now, we will take a hit here, and that's, you know, not great for us, but we'll do the best we can to mitigate some of that. <coughs> Excuse me. This just guarantees us that we'll get to four, um, which we really need to get to four, so it's good that we did that. Interesting they have a Temple of Malice. Um, if this is just a straight aggro deck, which it doesn't actually seem like it is, but if it was, that would be kind of a problem for it. Gonna see what they do. Okay. That's fine. Let's do this. Let's discard a Calyx. Let's burn that one out. Uh, and we get another land, which is good. That just means that we can shatter the sky. Um, so if they want to play out some stuff, we can deal with it. Cool. Looks like we are going to be shattering. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... They do get to draw a card there, which feels a little bad, but, you know, there's not much we can do. We got to mitigate the damage when we can. Might have been early to shatter as well. We'll, we, we'll find out. <clears throat> um, what do we discard here, I wonder? I'm going to discard this Narset. I don't know that that's 100% correct. I'll be honest. That seems bad to me. Um, but we kind of want this to ramp us or to just block, <laughs> uh, to be brutally honest. Um... Hmm. Hmm, not sure, not sure. Um I'm gonna try just playing this out. This is a bit of a greedy play. <clears throat> I think um a safer play would have been to just play out the Paradise Druid, to be honest. Um But we're gonna try it. We're gonna try. Um Okay. Actually kind of glad that I did that then, uh, solely because the Paradise Druid was going to be mostly to block. Um, so that's okay. Uh, let's... Let's play Calyx. That's good. Let's just keep them off of stuff. Calyx, very, very good at keeping people off of things, that's for sure. I like that. <clears throat> and with Calyx and Teferi, that's a pretty good combination of Planeswalkers, to be honest, because we can just kind of bounce stuff. Ooh, that hurts. Um, sure. That hurts. It's not like the end of the world by any means, but that definitely doesn't feel too good. Um, oh, the temptation. Yeah, we're doing it. Screw it. <laughs> We got to. All right, let's let's see what we can do. Now, anytime we play a non-creature spell, um, we not only get a shark equal to it CMC, but we get to draw a card. <laughs> We're taking a hit here. Don't get me wrong, that sucks. But we'll start bouncing some stuff, blocking some stuff. We'll see what we can do here. Oh, Ember Cleave, huh? That's pretty good. 
Don't like that. Um, let's play Teferi. Get a shark. Draw a card. Let's do this. Let's... Let's bounce this, I think. Oh, Oath is quite good. Can we act? We can't even play it though, can we? Ugh, that feels terrible. Um, we're gonna play this land out there. We're gonna play this out there. All right. So they will be able to kill Teferi if they'd like. <clears throat> um, next turn though, we do get to throw this out and kill the Legion War Boss, which is good. This is a really cool Rakdos like value list. I'm into it. I really dig it. We really just need to stay alive for a turn, though. Uh, if we can do that, we might be okay. Sure. Uh, they do have Croxa in the graveyard as well, so that's something that we're going to have to be very careful of. Um, sure. Let's kill that. I don't love trading that off, but let's do it. We're not really worried about Paradise Druid living so much. Um, Alright, let's Oath of Kaya. Gonna get rid of that. Uh, let's. It's a fairy. So many sharks. Um, right on I think we bounce the Amber Cleave. Right, that seems correct. Um, Warden, uh, we're not gonna take the two. Oh, okay. I didn't really think they were gonna give up there, but that's fine. I'll take it. Um, I mean, we were getting there, but I didn't really think that we had it locked quite yet. Um, cool. Well, we got there. Let's go to game three. See how we do. Oh, we leveled up. Let's do our little mastery thing real quick. Why not? We interrupt this regularly scheduled program for a brief break while we finish out some mastery stuff. Woo. All right. I love the Necro Panther. Such a cool card. All right, let's jump into game three. Uh, turn one, Soul Ring. Thank you again for this fantastic suggestion. This has been a very, very fun list. Looking forward to hearing some more from you. So if you've got some more, uh, turn one, Soul Ring shared it in the Discord, um, which we do have a channel for. So if you're interested, uh, please sign up there uh, or just log in or whatever you want to do. But I'm excited. Uh, this has been a very cool deck. This is not a very good hand, I will say. Um, yes, we do have some cycling opportunity, but not until turn three, really. Um, I'm going to mulligan. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. Um, what do we get rid of? Ugh, I don't know, actually. I think we'll get rid of Teferi, surprisingly. Um, that may be incorrect. I don't know. Uh, enters tapped. Uh, this way we have Oath of Kaya into Calyx. So turn two, we're going to get to Wolf Haven or Wolf Willow Haven or whatever. Uh, then we have Oath of Kaya up, which probably isn't going to do a ton against this deck. Um, but they do tend to run some Planeswalkers, so that's kind of my hope. But worst case scenario, we just get to um, play out Calyx next turn. So we'll see. My hope is that they just don't have like a million counters. The last Yorian deck I went against definitely did. Uh, and that felt real bad, not gonna lie. Um, okay. Ooh, wish we could play that. Um, let's try for it. And it sticks, wow. Let's look at the top. See what we can get. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, also, we didn't have blue for Teferi, so I think it was right to put Teferi back regardless. All right. What do we need? The right colored lands would be crucial. Like a steam vents. Be perfect. That kind of helps. Um, let's see what we get, if anything, here. Another Oath of Kaya, huh? The stars will light our way. 
Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna pay the two here, and I'm just gonna play out an Oath of Kaya and hit them for three. If nothing else, this just means that if they do decide to, you know, attack in at our Calyx, they've got they've got to deal with that damage. Not to mention we have an extra enchantment for Calyx's minus uh, ability. Um, we don't have anything in the graveyard, so the ultimate on Calyx really hasn't come into play very often, uh, if I'm honest. Um, but I mean, it's good. Not great, but fine. Wow, three shatters. Um, we're gonna paradise through it again. Uh, yeah. We'll just pass here. All right. If Paradise Druid sticks, we still don't actually get to play the Whirlwind of Thought, unfortunately. We do get to play Gross Viral, which is something. Luca. Luca, Luca, Luca. Very good card. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm going to pay two here. Do this. Uh, we'll keep the new one. It's fine. And we're actually just going to hit Luca here. I uh, don't know if that's 100% correct, but that way if they play creature minus, we can at least attack in and kill the Luka. We are in, like, Storm's Wrath prime time territory. Um, granted, they would lose their Luka in that process, but I mean, that's something they can do. Oh... Not hitting anything off of the Luka, I will say that. I mean, these decks don't really run very many creatures, but... So this gets to reset. That's fine. Well, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. We're going to steal that, uh, and we're going to peg it to this. Um, this just lets us also attack in at Luka, which I kind of am for. Um, all right. See what we can do. We're playing Shark Typhoon like every chance we get, obviously. I don't know why we wouldn't. Seems kind of silly not to. The only problem I have is if they've got like an agent of treachery, which is very likely in a deck like this. Oh, they've got their own Shark Typhoon. Cool. Welcome to the party! Still no creatures. Um, let's have another Oath of Kai. Um, let's do this. We have to make sure we keep the right Oath of Kaya, which is the one with Yorian on it, just to be very clear. Keeping that one. Killing that. Killing Luca. All right. Feeling okay, uh, but they do have a Shark Typhoon out. Um, and, like, I'm very positive this deck can come back out of nowhere, so... Uh, we just have to be very careful. Thankfully, we have a backup Calyx. Sure. Uh, let's plus. Get another Shark Typhoon. Um, I am blessed by Nix. We're going to attack in. They're probably just going to block the 3-3, three -three, I would assume. Might as well. 
Um, and we're going to play our second Shark Typhoon. Oh, and a land. Um, all right. Yeah. The one thing I, we have going for us is that they do have an 80 card deck. Um, uh -huh. It's interesting. Uh, that's kind of fine. Um, let's play our land. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to play another shark type here. <laughs> it's just silly. Um, it does hurt us. I mean, the fact that we don't have those Paradise Druids does hurt our fixing, like, significantly. Um, but, like, now if they play a creature, for instance, we've got backup Calyxes. They could Agent of Treachery any of our good stuff, which would really suck. But I don't think it's unbeatable, um, which is very crucial. And that's good, but not with two cards in hand. Um, that's pretty good. They could hit Calyx. That doesn't matter. We have more Calyx. And bigger sharks. <laughs> uh, this, that Scry is pretty good for them, though. I will say they hopefully... Oh, no. Both to the bottom. Okay, good. Uh, let's play Calyx. <laughs> Get a bunch of sharks. Um, hmm, what do we take? I think we take our, their Shark Typhoon. I don't really know. I'm going to take their Shark Typhoon. I don't know if that's correct, but that's fine. Oh, a Shatter. Well, that's pretty good. Um, we'll throw that out. Uh, I mean, they can just block these. That's fine. Yep. There we go. All right. Cool. Uh, so despite me initially thinking that this was going to be a very clunky deck, um, I was very much proven wrong. Uh, it's slow, but it doesn't mean it's clunky. Um, it worked out really well. We got a lot of wins. I think we've only lost one game with this. Whoops. Uh, so first of all, thank you to Turn One Soul Ring uh, for submitting. Again, anybody is welcome to do that, but we certainly appreciate it. Uh, summation of the deck. It's pretty sweet. Um, it gets so much value. Like, oh my goodness, it gets a lot of value. Uh, I, I'm amazed. Truly. Um, I. I think with Narset in tandem with like Teferi and the Oath of Kaya's, you've got enough ways like single point removal uh, or at least tempo uh, to kind of help mitigate some of the early game threats. You've got enough in the way of Shatter the Sky uh, to help kind of clear the board when you need to. Um, Calyx, very surprising. Uh, I've not really played with Calyx all that much. Very, very good, uh, in my opinion, in this deck. Uh, we have enchantments out most of the time. That way we can peg something if we need to. Uh, but not only that, it helps us draw into more non-creature spells, which then also uh, fuels like Whirlwind and things like that, uh, as well as Shark Typhoon. Uh, now, we do miss on Calyx fairly often. Um, we're running a decent number of enchantments, but not a ton. Uh, and so I think, you know, you're expecting that occasionally, but I think really the removal side of it is the, the big part. So um, well done, well submitted. Uh, really appreciate the submission. A lot of fun, guys. Uh, definitely recommend trying this one out. I know it's a bit expensive uh, in terms of wild cards and things like that. So understand if you can't necessarily try it out right away, but Highly recommend if you've got the cards, please do so. It's a fun one. And thank you again for submitting. So thanks a lot, guys. I will see you very soon, hopefully with the next gameplay video.